Hi there, it's Rachel from scrappinandhappy.blogspot.com with a crafty video. I'm starting to get back into crafting and videos and how much I enjoyed sharing them and how much I enjoy watching others. So I thought it might be fun to show some of the Christmas cards that I'm making. In my last video, um, I'll link it in the one and the one below here. I set up all my Christmas stuff so I could see my stash and make sure that I'm using what I have instead of going and buying anything new. And so this card is made with com all stuff completely from my stash. Now this paper pad I've had for a very long time, probably at least 10 years, but it kind of works. Um, it kind of has that farmhouse look. So I've always loved this paper. And I don't know if you're one of those people like me that has these beautiful papers but never use them, buy something else because you think it's too nice to use. Silly and ridiculous, I know, but um, that is going to stop this year as I dive into my Christmas stash. So um, this card is an A2 size, no, is it A5? No. Half of an eight and a half by 11 paper. I'm kind of out of touch with all that lingo. Um, and the this embellishment is made with Spellbinders dies, chipboard, and just this really thin paper. This paper um, is quite thin, so I needed to have something to bulk it up. <clears throat> and so I'll share all the measurements with you in case you'd like to make something similar. Um, this is what I did for my with my Spellbinders. So I have a magnetic cutting plate. But I still find they move sometimes. So what I did is I took some washi tape and I just taped, positioned these in how I wanted and then I taped it all together. And I was even able to cut out this um, Recollections chipboard. And what I've already done is glued the paper down on there. And as you can see, I cut, I'm making four of these cards because it's going to be a, as part of a gift pack. And you can see that I don't have any um, movement and the pattern paper and the chipboard line up really nicely. So ultimately I think I cut eight of these, four of this dotted paper and um, four of the chipboards. So I'll just leave that there. So this is the card we're gonna make. Put that to the side. So the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of white cardstock that is folded um, in half and this is gonna be a portrait style card. This paper is measures four and oh gosh uh four four by five and a quarter this paper measures three and three quarters by five by five and then this is a stamp set that i've had also for a really long time it's by amy r and it's a pack like this and what's really nice is you can mix in all these ones but I just chose the Merry Christmas and then positioned it on there. This was actually scrap that I cut down to make work and then I used this um, Hampton Art Stamp Perfect and but my is this make it so easy to get your sentiments so perfectly positioned there. I absolutely love it and then I have this box of um, chipboard, no not chipboard, wood veneers and I just took one out that I liked which I believe was this one. It's funny how like, I opened it this way and this is the one I took. So the other thing that you're going to need to make this also is distress ink. So this is the tea dye distress ink and then I just have the um, blending tool to go with it. So I don't know, sometimes I get in the blending groove and other times I just like to make a card without worrying about blending. So here we go. I am actually doing some inking. I don't know, it just seems to provide some depth to the, to the card. So I've done that. No rhyme or reason, I'm going to do the same thing with the craft card stock. And it's kind of neat, the fact that this pattern paper line is like 10 years old and wood veneers weren't as 
in, or maybe I don't remember them being around at that time, like they are now. And here I am using the wood veneer that goes so nicely with this theme pattern. So maybe it was worth saving this paper <laughs> for 10 years in the making and that this project looks like I want it to with the paper if it's project worthy. I'm going to do the same thing with this. As I said, it's chipboard on the back and I already glued down those um, pattern paper to it earlier today. Okay, and then I even did the snowflake. Just give it that real vintage look. Oh, gotta be careful, these are very fragile. Okay underneath and then do the white Merry Christmas and I may have to touch that up after with my scissors depending on how things go now when I make my Christmas cards I have switched from using my expensive AT, well, ATG tape because Christmas cards tend to be something that I don't know people don't necessarily hold on to so I just use this um, two-sided tape from the Dollar Tree. Um, what's nice about it is it rips. I can get a lot of projects made out of this and it seems to stand up long enough for cards. I've never used it on my scrapbook albums but I find it works really nice for this card type project. So just Make sure I get it centered there and I'll do another layer and I don't know uh, sometimes I put sentiments in on the back or sorry on the inside and sometimes I don't it um, it really depends <clears throat> and uh, today I guess I will omit it but you can always go back and add it after I have to kind of look and see what I have for inside sentiments So um, what I did for the sentiment here is, oops, there's a bit of this coming through. As so I just put it like that, and then I use craft glue. I've been using this, uh, I tried it just to buy this Elmer's Craft Bond glue. I've been using that to, uh, <clears throat> till I finish up the bottle. I use a lot of the scotch. Oops. And here we go, a little blooper. I put it on the wrong spot. Usually I put the glue on this thing itself. But of course when you're videoing and thinking of time, you're not thinking and this isn't coming out like I want it to tonight. And then I'll do the same thing on this side underneath. Glue that down. It takes a little bit, it's not as quick drying, watch, excuse my arm, as the scotch, but I wanted to see, it was less than trying to craft on a budget, being that um, I only work one day a week right now while I'm looking after my family, so I've been cutting corners as I can, oh this is ridiculous. There we go. So I'm going to stick that down right there. And then the final touch is this wood veneer. Oh my goodness. That I'm just going to put right on the edge and I don't know if any of you do this but I bought this um, self inking stamp a few years ago when I was doing my um, craft fair stuff and 
it's from Vistaprint and it's customized um, stamp that you can just put on the back that came off usually I remember to do that at the bottom but it was quite reasonable I don't know I think I would go with the next size up next time because it is kind of small but you still can see who it's made by and all of that stuff so there is my card um, I hope you enjoyed this with all the little bloopers and everything in um, thank you so much for joining me today and uh, happy crafting